the latest uh, notoriety that we've had, I suppose, is in connection with the Watergate caper. <laughs> the other night I was uh, out at dinner and uh, a lady and gentleman walked in, the gentleman being one of the senior officers in this agency. His wife came up to me and said, you know, the only thing about that Watergate caper I didn't like was that uh, it looked to me as though those people that had been identified with the agency were a bunch of bumblers. And I said, well, I couldn't agree with you more. It rather pained me, too, in the impression it left. But let me just say something to you, that if we, as an organization, want to enter some building or some apartment, we don't use your husband. Well, she thought probably this was about right, and it rather put this thing in perspective, that there aren't many of you that I would entrust to the job of entering some closed building. I don't think you'd know how to do it. And if you had picked up a little bit of information in one of the training courses about it, then I would certainly not let you do it on the <laughs> on the th theory that a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. <laughs> Obviously, in the agency, we have those who know how to do these things. That's why you don't hear about them. In any event, to put your minds at rest, whatever was behind that caper, and I frankly don't know, so I'm not holding out on you, whatever the purpose of it was, for whatever reason, they went into the Watergate apartment of the Democratic National Committee. These individuals did indeed have a agency relationships, but they've not had them for some time. I don't know what's behind it. I don't know who put up the money. I don't really know anything about it, but I want to put your mind at rest. The agency had nothing whatever to do with it. 